Hello and welcome back. If you sell on platforms like Mercari or eBay, you're in luck. Today we'll check out 7 plush toy brands selling on eBay for $50 or more. I've also calculated percent sell through rate and starred the number one brand for most sold in the last 90 days. Let's take a look. Fisher Price Puffalumps Current sold is $50 and $5.45 shipping. These were made in the early 90s and there are many variations of them. Here's the label. So this was a 1991. Here's another version of the Fisher Price plush. So this is the thermal waffle weave bunny. This is also in the 90s, early 90s. This one sold for $59.99 and $5.45 shipping. Here's another version of a stuffy from the 90s. This one sold for $79.95 and $5.75 shipping. It's called the Rumple Rumples. And this is its stuffed bear. Here's the tag, and it says 1993. And then I also wanted to let you know that for Fisher Price, there are some Muppet characters that sell for good money. This is also vintage from 1979. This sold for $120 and $5.45 shipping. Here's a close up of the label. So the Fisher Price plush has a sell through rate at $50 or more of 60%, which is a great sell through rate for plush. Next we have Gund. This is a vintage sheep and it's from 1992. It sold for $54.99 and $10.99 shipping. And here's a close up. Gund usually uses a red font. And here's the back. It says it's from USA. We also have some more recent Gund. So this is a Pusheen Kitty. This one sold for $79.99 and $7.98 shipping. So sometimes Gund will do franchise characters and those can go for higher prices as well. But mostly we're looking for vintage. So here's another example of a vintage Gund. This one sold for $180 and 12 shipping. This is Mutsi the Dog. It's a golden retriever. This one actually has the tag. And here's the other tag. Our next example of Gund is a teddy bear. So this is Bear Feet. This one sold for $85.99 and $9.40 shipping. This one's from 1981, so it's even older vintage plush. It has those cute little feet. And here's the tag. And Gund has a sell through rate of 21%, sold for $50 or more. Next we have Jelly Cat. This puppy dog plush sold for $90 and 11 shipping. Let's take a closer look at the label here. So this is Jelly Cat London. Next we have the plush dragon. I saw several of these selling. This one sold for $95 and $7.90 shipping. Here's another close up of the tag. Now we have the Dutch Bunny from Jelly Cat. This one sold for $84.99 and 10 shipping. And you'll notice that all the tags here are pretty much the same. I don't believe these are vintage. They don't look it. Our last example is the Otter. This is only seven inches and it sold for $69.95 and $1 shipping. And the same exact tag. Sell through rate for Jelly Cat is 42%. Build a Bear. There are a lot of Build a Bear plush out there, and what you're looking for specifically are the different movie characters or franchise characters. So, this is from Lilo and Stitch, and this is also a Halloween version of Lilo and Stitch, so it makes it even more rare. This one sold for $79.99 and $9.75 shipping. You can see the Build-A-Bear patch on the foot and it says Wicked Mischief so you know it's a little different. Here's a close up of the tag. Another rare Build-A-Bear is the Hello Kitty. So this one's the Choco Cat and this is from Sanrio. Sanrio usually produces Hello Kitty products but this is a collaboration with Build-A-Bear. This one sold for $200 and $5 shipping. 
and you can see here it says Chocolate Cat Sanrio and it also has the Build-A-Bear tag. Here's another Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. This one sold for $79.99 and $9.95 shipping. What we're noticing is that many different versions of Hello Kitty for Build-A-Bear um, have higher prices on eBay. Okay, so you can see the Hello Kitty label again and you can sort of see the Build-A-Bear tag from behind. Another example I have for Build-A-Bear is the Pokemon. So this one sold for $125 and $12.75 shipping. This is the Pokemon plush Vaporeon. Here's another label. And you can also see the Pokemon trademark on there. So there are several different Pokemon characters that could be for Build-A-Bear. And if you do find them, definitely take a look at the comps. The sell through rate is 40%. Now we have Disney. This is Clarabelle. This stuffy sold for $69.99 and $11 shipping. The reason this went for so much is that Clarabelle is not a main character. It's not Mickey Mouse, it's not Minnie Mouse. This is a side character and these are not made as often. Here's the Disney Store exclusive patch. Here's one of the tags. Another rare side character, Sir Hiss the Snake from Robin Hood. So this one sold for $69.98 and $5.85 shipping. And here's another look at the tag. This is pretty old. And this is from the Disney store. Here's a smaller Disney plush. So this is from Little Einstein's. This is Quincy. Uh, this plush sold for $50 and $5 shipping. It's only 8 inches tall. So because he's, he's one of the many characters on Little Einstein's, He's harder to find. And my last example for Disney is the Max Goofy plush. So this one sold for $99.99 and $8 shipping. This is actually from the Disney World on Ice. So this is not even from the Disney store. But again, this is another rare character. We don't see a lot of this plush in the stores. The sell through rate is 22%. For plush selling over $50. Next is Squishmallows. So this brown leopard spotted cat sold for $90 and $15 shipping. This is a pillow. It's 24 inches so it's pretty large. And here's the tag. And this is from Kelly Toys. So you may see listings for Squishmallows that are Kelly Toys and not under Squishmallows. This is Emily the Bat. And this is only an 8 inch plush. It sold for $69.99 and $4.99 shipping. This is another example of a specialty toy. This is a Halloween themed plush. Does not have any tag photos. But I thought it was interesting that it sold for that much. And it's so small. Only 8 inches. Now we have Leonard the Lion. This is another jumbo plush. This is 24 inches. Sold for $52 and $7.99 shipping. You can see a little bit of the Squishmallow tag. And here's another Squishmallow that's small. This is 9 inches. And this is produced through Justice, small brand store uh, for tweens, for like 9 to 12 year olds. This stuffy sold for $90 and 12 shipping. And it does actually have the tags, even though they listed it as pre-owned. And it's actually vanilla bean scented. That's neat. A closer look at the tag that's attached. And this one's named Blossom. Sell through rate for Squishmallow is 47%. Our brand with the most solds is Stife. This is a vintage stuff dachshund dog and it sold for $84 and $10 shipping. All the solds for Stife were vintage. You notice this one says 1950s to 1970s. Here's the tag that's attached and it says Stife on there. It says Stife Original. And this one's called Waldy. It's adorable. And if you take a look, you'll notice that these are different than more modern plush. There's a lot of detail here. So there's embroidered nose. The eyes have very unique beads. The fur lays differently. Looks a lot more lifelike. Now we have the miniature tiger. This is only seven inches. This one sold for $59.99 and $6.64 shipping. This doesn't have the original tag, but I think this one was authenticated. It says original Stife. 
made in Germany. It's also beautiful. Those eyes are piercing. And the nose is again embroidered, so that's another little that's a little sign if you're looking at an old stuffed animal and you're not sure if it might be a stife. Another example we have is the moose. So this moose sold for $99.95 and $8.27 shipping. You notice that the legs are very stiff. They're able to stand up. Again, that fur lays differently than modern stuffed animals. And there's a lot of attention to detail here. We take a look at the eyes and the coloring on the face. Now we have Lammy. This is a 1960s stife stuffed animal. This one sold for $51 and $5.45 shipping. This one also has a tag. It has a cute little bell as well. And you can see again that the face has that yarn embroidered mouth instead of having any kind of plastic beading. The eyes are kind of similar to the tiger eyes. Stife has a sell through rate of 32%. As always, we hope this information was useful to you. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know which item categories you'd like us to research in future videos. Thank you for watching!